Viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Aquarians and it is for December onwards, 2023. I hope you'll enjoy it. It's about everything you need to know, my dear Aquarius. What are the most important factors for you for you to know? Uh, for December, a little bit onwards, uh, that's what this reading is all about. So everything that you've been questioning or wondering, how will this be? When will this be? Um, we're going to get some answers for you. Welcome everyone, whether you're Aquarius or not. Let us begin by seeing what are important messages for all Aquarians for December onwards. And here we go. Whoops. We need one card only. And there it is. And we have Earth. So Earth energy is going to be inspiring you, supporting you in every way. Earth energy being Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. I'm going to read further and see what else about this element it says healing wow it says ask the element of earth for grounding stability and strength so if you are in need of strength grounding and stability um ask that means um what it actually means it's it means indirectly or rather directly that the earth energy is going to be supporting you and it's going to be helping you to be more stable, more grounded. So if you're dealing with someone that's earth energy like Taurus um, or Capricorn or Virgo, know that whatever is happening is going to be whatever they are supporting you to do, you will get a lot of grounding uh, energy from them and stability. And they will give you the strength to be stronger and to be able to move forward. Plus, I feel like an earth energy will impact your life and bring you a lot of healing. There could be also love in regard to... And earth energy don't forget at the end of the reading my dear aquarius we are going to go through all the star signs and see what are the star sign combination of the person that you are going to be overwhelmed with consumed with dealing with or even meeting in december remember that so i'll do that right at the end stay tuned for that let's see one more message for all aquarians for december and we have the Ace of Swords, which is the Air Spirit, that shows that you are getting, it's a little bit more than Eight of Swords, because we've got the truth, we've got knowledge, and we've got a lot of understanding and a new beginning. That gives you what? That gives you, which we have the boat, which is getting all your needs, everything you've always wanted, what you truly need is coming, and it's going to give you the power. There is a lot of power, a lot of understanding that helps you motivate and move further and be able to acknowledge uh, what's happening and perhaps even support a situation so that it can be uh, granting you what you want so a new beginning that brings you truth abundance of understanding and clarity amazing okay before i do further i'm going to get four tea leaves for all aquarians to see what our four messages uh, for aquarians for december i'm um, starting with the first one that's number one and number two and number three and there was a green one my eye was eyeing uh, it disappeared so i'll take maybe from this one here okay so we've got four cards and let's see what the messages four messages from the tea leaves and let's see what they're trying to tell us i'll just put these away and start looking at the cards here okay so starting with the first one it says a bowl now put my glasses on a bowl is all about um plenty of material things so lots of abundance lots of maybe gifts money possessions gifts more than anything else material things so lots of them plenty of them the second one says november something that might happen to know in november might have already happened in november might have started november might have initiated something and also november is somebody born in november so it's somebody like scorpio or sagittarius i have a feeling sagittarius more than scorpio possibly because of fire energy but i could be wrong we'll see um, we have Korea, and Korea is all about things are going to be moving upwards in your career. Things are going to be improving. And also we have handshakes. So there are agreements. It says um, a meeting with a stranger could be important. A meeting with a stranger could be important. And also this means agreements, and it means uh, deals are met and agreed on. Uh, contracts all that and it could be for, for many of you um, in connection to your career there could be contracts and deals being made and your career thrives with that okay that's beautiful now let's move on two major impacts for all aquarians for december 
Okay, so the first one we have the devil. The devil shows that there is something that's being done a little bit too much. Maybe there's a controlling situation, somebody controlling, something controlling you, or there could be um, something that you're doing too much of, or something that could be uh, causing you some sort of uncomfort. I feel like this is you're going to heal from this, and I feel like very soon there will be healing. Let's see, and I will clarify it, of course. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and it shows a new beginning that's going to bring you a lot of prosperity. My goodness, this is so similar to the reading I did for Capricorn. For those of you who have Capricorn in you, have a look at the reading. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune shows that their destiny is going to intervene in your life and bring you extraordinary, extreme and extraordinary abundance and luck, luck more than anything else. So that's why you don't see coming and it's coming uh, after December. Okay, let's have a look at further. We're going to take two more impacts, major impacts for all Aquarians. And we have, wow, we have the world. And the world shows that you are going to be elevated to high levels. Your life is changing, a new cycle of life that brings you victory and a lot of happiness, extraordinary happiness with the world. Many of you will be traveling very soon. Three of Pentacles shows um, working in team is going to be very profitable, doing something together maybe in a team or a business. That's why they said Korea or they're saying handshake. Um, this is a time for glorious profits and deals being made and working well together. Maybe some of you are starting a business together that could be with somebody that could be wonderful. What you don't see happening and coming is extraordinary money, a lot of money. Um, dramatic change and rise in your money right next to the Wheel of Fortune. So you've got these two sitting right next to each other, which are wonderful on their own. They're absolutely incredible. Extreme luck and a lot of money. Have a look at your money reading. There could be some windfall or something that you need to know about. Now I'm going to take three more cards from this deck to see what else all Aquarians need to know. So we've got the first one. And we have the two of wands. Many of you are going to decide to relocate. You're moving away from where you are, where you're living now. I feel like there could be a new home, a new residence, uh, a new lifestyle coming up very soon. But there is the thought and the you know decision making about remove uh, about removal, about relocating. Sorry relocating and expanding your mind towards that the second thing is leaving some of you are leaving towards the light the six of souls shows that you're in transition you're about to go somewhere and i feel like you're leaving a troubled life and controlling maybe someone controlling you're leaving that behind you and moving towards a better life and then we have the three of ones here yeah, major two of ones three of ones you're going somewhere i feel like something is going to be the cause of you really planning and thinking to move and i feel like destiny has a lot to do with it destiny could be the one that is supporting you to move forward and um, help you to sort of expand your mind into looking to live at, in a better place and that's why there is the six of swords where it shows you are leaving you're not happy where you are there's too many problems and you want to go to somewhere where it's much more better less troublesome and i feel like um, destiny is going to intervene in this and you are going to be able to move forward i'll just take the six of swords and put it over here so we can investigate it a bit later on. Now, let's go further. What you don't see happening and coming, there is the tower. Something is falling apart. You're feeling trapped. That's why this is happening. And you are destined to have a lot of wonderful things happen to you, like a great victory. So the, this is the tower. And the collapse of the tower means that there is a situation that's binding you. What you don't see happening. Feeling trapped, the eight of swords, trapped and unhappy and at the mercy of other people, controlling situations. And finally, you are going to release yourself and you are going to have the greatest victory. Release and overcoming obstacles and a victory with the chariot. Beautiful. It's a beautiful outcome. Before I go into clarifying the cards, I'm going to just see what else you need to know. My dear Aquarius, let's have a look. The truth, two messages. So we start with the first one. The golden eggs, beautiful. And the second one, we have the turtle. Okay. So it shows to me that you are some of you are starting a fresh start a new beginning and i feel like um, you're starting over some of you are saving up to start a new life some of you um, are doing well you're having good resources uh, but the golden eggs also shows that you have to be careful if you're investing not to put all your eggs in one basket 
always remember that there is a new opportunity there are situations with career to do with healthcare maybe uh, insurance uh, her careers to do with healthcare insurance new opportunities that's for sure and starting fresh starting over with a golden egg and then we have why I said don't put all your eggs in one basket because money is coming in and when money comes in remember a large amount of money make sure you don't put it all in one place always spread your money around so that you won't go through if anything loses you've got another uh, backup left over the turtle is about money coming slowly slowly and steady uh, you will have progress moving some of you will be moving for work this could be the expansion that I see here moving for work going to a better place destiny could be the reason that's moving you so you could be moving due to destiny or a job offer something you can't refuse maybe this deal this handshake could be the reason that you could be moving where you're making a, a deal to do with contract or your business or your either business there's three of pentacles business or career so there could be a deal a handshake an agreement going on that might uh, move you take you to the next level so um the turtle and then the wheel of fortune could be just destiny doing its job uh taking you to the next level now let's see what else you need to know we've got one all aquarians and two okay so for some of you my dear aquarians there is a separation things are falling apart and i'll just maybe because we had the tower remember we had the tower here you're overcoming some problems time apart from your partner is on the horizon some of you are separating but what's good the good news is there's a new love coming so that is amazing a new love it's going to be a new person that will stir up your romantic feeling and it's going to be a new beginning a new love is coming beautiful okay let's see what the message is for today for all aquarians the truth and the truth is one card reflection okay reflection is all about you uh, not you only giving each other time uh, giving each other some space at the moment and trusting and having faith that all will work out for the best so whatever happens it's going to be for the best whether you stay or leave uh, giving space is going to give you the time out to think and really rethink because that's what the three of wands is thinking beyond seeing the bigger picture and looking at the scope of matter and and opening your mind towards you know all the possibilities but it's also rewards and expansion at the same time so that's what this one's all about now what i'm going to do is go through and show you with the um and then I'll start, I'll clarify the cards. Before I do, I just want to show you the golden eggs opportunity of starting fresh, saving money resources. It's all about abundance. You've got the wheel of fortune showing that extreme luck is coming, bringing you a lot of, uh, what's the word? A major dramatic rise in your money, big money coming. And the fruit bowl is also about material things. So a lot of money. This is the beginning of prosperity, showing that a lot of prosperity is coming. A lot of money is coming. The bowl shows a lot of um, plenty of material things, gifts, money possessions assets and the wheel of fortune have a look at your money uh, reading your personal money reading my dear queries so you see what's going on because there's a major rise in your money big time so um and it could be something that you might have started uh in in november because november is uh, indicated and it's connected to this rise in money so november maybe something you initiated started maybe a business deal um you know, we've got, we did have the three of pentacles, didn't we, here somewhere? I could have sworn I saw the three of pentacles. Maybe not. Uh, maybe as I was uh, looking at other things, perhaps. Oh, no, here it is. There it is. Three of pentacles. So I do feel like maybe something you initiated, you started the business in November. Whatever you're doing, it's booming. Money is coming in. And it's going to be the beginning of prosperity. Now let's begin. Because I feel like money is rising big time. Even... Um, with the golden tarot, uh, turtle, it shows that money is rising. Progress is coming slowly but steady and then boom, this is what you don't see coming. It's coming big time. So let's move forward and see what is. First, let's have a look at the two of wands. Before I go into the world and the devil, I'll just see the two of wands and uh, relocating moving yes something good is going to happen and great news is coming to give you the go-ahead uh, 
There's good news coming to say to you, yes, go ahead, it's done. Yes, I'm coming. Yes, you can have this. Yes, this is granted. Great news that's going to give you the power of clarity, the truth, and the power to move, take action, and you'll be able to move forward. Yes, you're waiting for some news. Maybe it's a job offer or something that you are uh, a contract that you're signing up with and you're getting a yes agreement or a loan that you're going for to start your own business with somebody joint venture with somebody and you're getting the yes but you are relocating and it's going to bring you happiness abundance progress success everything the sun with it it's going to be spectacular so you don't have to worry about that let's talk about the devil you see the devil there's a lot of problems here. That's why you're leaving. Hidden matters, it's situations, hidden situations, secrets coming in the open, a lot of uh, problems. And that's why we had the Six of Swords where you were leaving. You were leaving because there's too much control, too many disagreements, too many people interfering. And that's why you're leaving the Six of Swords about leaving towards the light, towards a better uh, place. And seeing your path clearly, the moon gives you a lot of clarity to understand where you're heading and where you're going so this is what you don't see coming and um, it is to do with you leaving and the devil let's have a look at the devil see what they tell us about the devil for all oh wow look at that look at this card how it just went on it came out and went on my hand um, the card of wealth and riches the ten of pentacles is the highest level of rich wealth money and uh, i feel like when i was talking about the devil this this timing, maybe the devil is about something that you're doing too much of. It's timing. A lot of money, a lot of wealth is coming big time. And, I, I, and you've got the Ace of Pentacles, which shows, you know, there's a lot of money. And I also feel like with the eggs saving up or money coming in, a rise in your money, the beginning of prosperity. This is earth energy. This is material. What we had the bowl here. We have the earth energy here showing you that there's going to be abundance coming your way. Working with earth energy doesn't actually mean working with it. Earth energy gives you um, stability and it gives you maybe abundance and it gives you material. Material is earth also, material, material gains. And that's why we've got the ball. The ball is about plenty of money, plenty of material assets and material things. So we're talking about something big happening in your life, major. Major, my dear Aquarius, major. So um, this is all about... Um, where was I? Oh, yes, this jumped out when we were talking about this, uh, you know, overwhelmment of um, excessiveness, something that's happening too much and uh, causing issues. Let's see further about the devil, some more information. Yes, this is coming to an end and you're leaving. So the devil does show somebody controlling. It does show a controlling situation that has caused you a lot of problems, disagreements and, and battles and continuous arguments. So you're leaving, you're leaving with regret, but you're leaving and something is coming to an end. This devil, which is control and excessiveness, too much control, is coming to an end in your life. You are leaving for a better life. You're relocating. That's why I said to you, you got the two of ones, you're leaving. You're leaving, relocating, going to a better place. And it's after this time, wealth and riches is coming in your life. Believe me, wealth and riches. So now let's go further and see... Why is in this thing? Let's see the Ace of Pentacles, which is about the beginning of prosperity. And it looks like it's coming right after you're leaving. Let's have a look for all Aquarians. The Ace of Pentacles. Yes, you're destined for a life of abundance, dreams and wishes being granted. A lot of blessings pouring into your life, getting your dream home, dream life. A new beginning ignites that gives you everything. So we were talking in regard to the Ace of Pentacles and look what came. Uh, what comes is amazing and I feel like the wheel of fortune is playing the big role in your life because the wheel of destiny will maneuver things to get you to the next level and it's what you don't see coming it's coming and taking you to this new level a new beginning that brings you abundance and I feel like you are going to get exactly what you need with the earth energy supporting you this earth uh, the power of earth with you and a lot of blessings are going to be pouring into your life big time so prepare for that. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles, showing a new beginning filled with prosperity and abundance and getting all your wishes and your dreams established and a lot of a great victory for you. Not to mention you've got the Air Spirit, which is all about um, getting what you need and moving it is part of it because we've got the boat. You're going towards what you need. You're not happy where you are. You're moving. And that's what destiny is doing. It's helping you move to 
a much more stable, wonderful position in life. And a lot of blessings are coming at that time. One of your wishes is going to be granted. The greatest gift of all is coming to you with the Ace of Cups. Do you see how we've got all the cups, all the Aces here? How amazing. You've got Ace of Cup, which is the greatest gift of all or the greatest love of all. A new beginning that brings you prosperity. And, of course, the Four of Wands, achieving everything you've always wanted. Now, achieving everything what you've wanted could be part of it, the um, um, the wish. This is the star where you get one of your wishes granted, one of the oldest wishes you've wanted ever. So you've got all the aces together. And um, there's another one here. So we've got three aces. As you can see, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. All of them and um, united in one reading new beginnings that are bringing you all this creativity love money abundance the wheel of fortune and the star to give you one of your oldest wishes being granted you are destined for an amazing life you're destined for an incredible life it's waiting for you so really there's so much to see here so much happening it's incredible what I'm seeing. Now, let's have a look at the Three of Pentacles. And let's see. Sometimes the Three of Pentacles can be family. Sometimes it can be a business. And you've got the handshake and career. So it could be part of a business, this one here. But let's have a look and see what agreement. Is it an agreement? Is it to do with your career? Is it to do, is it to do with a business? Or is there more uh, that, meets the, uh, that, that we don't know yet? Let's see. Three of Pentacles for all Aquarians. Shows dreams and wishes being established, a proposition or a proposal, one that you can't refuse. So I feel like this could be the one that you are. It could be to do with your money. I feel like there is a handshake. There's an agreement. It could be a relationship also, possibly. Um, but it could be also a business because career, we've got career and handshake. So this could be a proposal, love, or it could be a proposition. It could be love because we have the Ace of Cups. So it could be somebody proposing. Uh, that is very, very possible. Now, um, yes, I was just thinking about something. Yes, what you don't see happening is that there is some sort of painful truth that releases you from a situation. There is a separation and ending. But there is someone wonderful coming into your life. This person might have water energy. Water energy is going to be very helpful, supportive. Sco uh, water energy is Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Now, let's have a look at who this person is. Let's have a look. Now, I just wanted to know something. Something is missing here. Which I wanted to see what was the message. Hmm. Oh, here, yeah. I wanted to know what the oh, reflection. Okay. This is when you are. Okay. So there's good news coming. And now we're going to see who, what are the star sign combination. And the ones that double, triple are the ones that are going to make a big impact. Um, and the person that you are going to be overwhelmed with, dealing with, and consumed with in December. And a little bit over into January. Let's see who this person. But January will have January. So we've got Pisces. Somebody that has water energy. There's the water energy we were talking about. Remember I said Scorpio Cancer Pisces. The water energy. So we've got the Pisces here. Let's see. This time. I'm going to take five, four, five cards I take usually. So we've got the second one is Cancer. Wow. Double Cancer. Double Dap. So we've got double Cancer. We have Leo. Somebody's got fire energy in them. And oh, there's more. There's double Leo and there's Scorpio. Wow, this is amazing. So water energy takes over everything. That's the water energy here. Some of you could be, let me think, my dear Aquarius, what's going on? Yeah, you could be consumed with someone of water energy. <clears throat> and then you could be meeting someone that has fire. What is this? The ruler of Scorpio. Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. So we've got Scorpio, Pisces, and double cancer uh, this is a lot of water energy and this is a water energy that's why i'm putting it here and then we've got two leos double leo so we're talking about i feel like there is someone that might be coming into your life you might have not met the fire energy yet did we have a fire coming no maybe the collapses with the earth uh, w um, the collapse that's falling apart is with water energy possibly uh, but it is um, because the water energy was connected to the three of swords, so possibly. But you are overwhelmed and consumed within December with someone of water energy. Being cancer, they have a lot of cancer in them. They might have a lot of Leo because we have double Leo here. 
Leo, which is fire energy. And then there is Pisces. They could have a little bit of Pisces in them. And then there is Scorpio. So this could be two people. You could be, you know, dealing with two people. There could be someone that is fire energy and has Scorpio in them. And you could be meeting this person or dealing with this person. Uh, leaving someone that has cancer, double cancer and Pisces or double cancer Scorpio. You might be leaving behind and you might be going with someone that is double Leo, double fire and Pisces. There could be two people that you might be dealing with in the, um, in December. But what I'm seeing here, what I'm trying to understand, it looks to me like there could be someone, very, it looks to me very strong, um, water and fire energy that's without a doubt water and fire which means double cancer and double leo so they've got the why they're doubling up it doesn't let necessarily mean that they've got double cancer in them it doesn't mean that it's just because uh where i do i always like to know uh, the majority of aquarians where they're at and the majority of you are dealing with someone that has fire energy with water in them so that makes them uh, kind of like hot all the time uh, uh, you know they get excited very easily they get angry very easily they get moody very easily but they are very considerate they're very nurturing one thing about cancer they're well known for their nurturing um, power and also the leo the leo even more than cancer one more um, nurturing than the other very loving um, at the same time, there could be someone that's a bit materialistic here, someone that's a bit greedy, a bit materialistic. That is also possible with this combination, uh, except not the Leo. The Leo are very generous. I feel like there could be something to do with someone that's a little bit set in their ways. Maybe uh, the person that you might be leaving behind, they might be a little bit too um, moody or too set in their ways or too tight with money perhaps the person you're leaving maybe there's issues with that i do also see that there is fire energy very strong which is something that you would crave being an air energy yourself my dear Aquarius. being air you'll always crave fire more than water water is something you don't really get along with but you do get along with a lot of fire so if you are with a water energy say you are with a piscean It'll be great if they have Leo in them. It'll be fantastic. It will do well because fire helps you um, re not regenerate, but warm you up. It gives you strength. It gives you elevation, movement, and it gives you warmth at the same time, something you truly need. Uh, water energy, it'll be wonderful if you have a water, if you meet a water, water energy and they've got fire in them, that would mean that would mean that you will thrive together you will love their um you will love they will love your um your presence your personality your warmth my dear Aquarius. they will love that so you could be dealing with someone that's uh, that's got a fire a lot of fire in them and cancer so leo and cancer cancer being water leo being fire and of course, Scorpio and Pisces are water energies. So there could be someone that might be, their sun sign might be Scorpio, and they might have uh, Leo in them, very strong Leo. That would make them very wonderful with you. The warmth of the Leo will do well. Uh, so either way, I feel like this combination is going to be someone that you might be, this could be two people, one person that you might be leaving behind, separating this separation and then probably moving forward to the next level i feel like the next level one might not be showing clearly now you might be dealing with someone that is water on fire that is possible but let's have a look at the january one that one's going to clarify what this is i would love to hear your comments because your comments will clarify this for sure don't forget something is ending but something magnificent is starting and each and every one of them, they're bringing you the sun. They're bringing you a lot of your wishes, a lot of your wishes and dreams, escalation in your money and the greatest beginnings uh, and the greatest love of all. A lot of your wishes and dreams being established. So uh, what's happening in your life is overwhelming. It's incredible. There's bad, but there's a lot of good coming. The separation is the bad one, but everything else is fantastic. Let me know what you think. We're getting rid of this for sure. The situation is coming to an absolute ending. You're leaving this behind and you're moving forward to a better life, to a much better life. So that's the end of the devil in your life. And the, um, the stars bringing you a lot of happiness and a lot of wishes 
come true you're able to have the life that you want and live a life of comfort happiness and abundance of emotional fulfillment and the highest level emotional fulfillment and a lot of blessings pouring into your life my dear Aquarius remember that as for money make sure you look at your money reading because there's something big coming major that's taking you to a very high level in money wise very important um, do give me a thumbs up, dear viewers, and do support me by subscribing if you haven't to the channel. And the second uh, matter, which is really important to me, and I would really appreciate your support, is seeing these videos to the end or not stopping them uh, when you have to stop them. Say you, you got sick of it at 20 minutes. Please let it run its course until it ends. That will help me help me big time, support me big time, because we are having problems, technical issues uh, with algorithms and things I can't really explain. But I do really appreciate if you would support me in the manner of seeing these videos through or just letting them run to the end without stopping them it means a lot to me and with that i would like to wish you a lot of love and light and a lot of blessings do give me a thumbs up and your comments can't wait to hear what you'll comment about this love and light to all of you namaste